How to knit the basic pearl bind off, left handed. To download a guide with our five favorite tips to improve your knitting right now, visit newstitchaday.com slash five knit tips. For this tutorial, you'll need the following materials. A pair of knitting needles and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor Lion Brand for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Lion's Pride Wool Spun, available exclusively at Michael's Craft Stores, in the color taupe. In this video I'm going to show you how to do a pearl bind off, or if you are uh, more used to British terms than a, a cast off, right? This is how we finish the edge of our row. Now why would you use a pearl bind off as opposed to a knit bind off? Well, there's a couple reasons. One is um, if you're knitting stockinette fabric, there may be a tendency for the fabric to curl. And so using a pearl bind off is going to sort of twist that edge a little bit more towards you. And so it'll lay flat a little bit nicer. Uh, the other reason is if you want to stay in pattern, right, you might be binding off on the back side of your fabric. And so you wouldn't want to use a knit stitch along the last edge here. You would want to use a purl stitch if you're doing stocking it again. And so then you would do a purl bind off, right, to bind off in pattern. So those are really the two big reasons why you would use a bind off like this. Um, and the final reason might be if you have an element like here, where we did a, a pearl ridge row, again, to help keep the fabric from uh, curling, the, this will match that row. All right, so let me show you how we actually do this. All right, I've got a little practice swatch here. And the pearl bind off is actually very, very simple. We're gonna just pearl every stitch along the row, but we're gonna add a step in between. So for step one, we're gonna pearl our stitch, okay? Then for step two, we're gonna purl again. Okay, purl the next stitch. Now for step three, we're gonna insert our main needle here into the farthest stitch from the tip of our needle. All right, and we're going to lift this stitch up and over the needle, all right? And so now we've bound off that stitch. So we're going to repeat steps two and three until we've bound off all of the stitches. So again, we're going to purl, okay, and then we're going to slip the farthest stitch over the first stitch on our needle. All right, I'll do that again a couple more times. So we're going to purl and then Pick this stitch up and over the needle, like so. Now I've been doing this from the front. You could pick it up on the back side if you wanted, right? And then lift it over like that. Whatever is more comfortable for you, there's not a uh, right or wrong way to um, lifting this stitch over. So again, I'll do it from the back here, and we'll just lift that over the front. All right, so there we go. That's how you do the basic pearl bind off. I'm gonna do this all the way until the end here, and then I'll show you how we finish this up. All right, so to finish off our bind off row, we're just gonna work that bind off like normal. And then what I like to do is some people will just pull this straight through, but that doesn't really tighten down that last stitch. So I just give it a little bit of slack and then pull your working yarn through that loop. And then we'll just pull all the way through. Now you might want to cut your yarn so you don't have to pull all the way through a bunch of yarn, right? But then we can just tighten that down real nice and it'll be pretty seamless looking. All right, so there we go. We've got a pearl bind off row or cast off row. And that's how you make one. 
Hey, I'm Johnny Vasquez, founder of News to Today and your teacher for this tutorial. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to learn from us. If you'd like to see more videos just like this, we produce new content every single day. Hence, new stitch a day. You can click the subscribe button so that you don't miss a single stitch. And if you click one of the links to the side here, you can see the previous stitch in our series or the next stitch in our series. And if you click this link, you'll be able to see one of my favorites. And don't forget, you can also download a PDF with the written instructions for this tutorial by clicking or using the URL link that's on the screen. Again, I want to thank you so much for learning with us, and I hope that we've helped make your knitting and crochet skills a little bit better today. Yarn on!